In our last video, SONH athlete Charlie Helfrich told us about seeing the Boston Marathon in person for the first time. It's why he started running. We start this time by asking SONH board chair Eric Tinker how he began his running journey. My running journey probably started about 2016. Um, me and my daughter did a, a, were doing a 5K, and we were training, and uh, she was much, much faster than me. And at that, at that part of my life, I was like, wow, I'm really out of shape. And so we trained for another 5K, 2016, 2017, and it kind of just took off from there. And then in 2019, me and Charlie met up. Um, we did that, we did the Manchester, we did, first we did the sprint triathlon at the, at, the, at the summer games. And then we did the Manchester Marathon. We've done the uh, Shamrock Half Marathon. We've done the White Mountain Triathlon together. The marathon partners have made some practice runs on the actual race course in Massachusetts. We've gone down, we ran from Hopkinton to, I believe, West Nadick. So our training schedule now is pretty much, me and Charlie run every Saturday. We do our long runs, we're running 13, I think our longest run was 16 miles. So our, our routine now is we both have uh, uh, one, one headphone in and we're, and we're listening to the music. music. So we're listening to the same music the whole time. Charlie, what's your favorite song to run to? Victorious by Skillet. In 2023, Charlie's fellow athlete Thomas Cantera will be running Boston for the fifth time. The athletes had a conversation about Charlie's upcoming first time marathon run. We talked about his experience on his marathons and what the best marathons were to run in as a lead up to Boston. And he told me the one marathon that's good is the Bay State Marathon, which is in Lowell, and it's pretty flat. Charlie and Eric have become great friends since 2019. Who's the better runner? In a 50-yard dash, who would win? <laughs> I believe I would. <laughs> and what about Heartbreak Hill? I think I'm going to do good on Heartbreak Hill. That's Charlie's strength is hills. It's without a doubt. He takes on a hill like it's, like it's he just zooms up hills. It's my weakness. It's his strength. <laughs> so, are you going to wait for Eric to catch up? No, he doesn't. He doesn't. <laughs> no. When we go to a hill, there's Charlie, and then there's me, and then, and then as we go down the hill, I catch up to him. Absolutely. But going up a hill, I don't even try. Again, I'm here with Charlie. Okay, Charlie's biggest strength is his hills. He's like absolutely a beast on the hills. All right, check him out. Check him out. <laughs> That is his biggest strength. I can't keep up with him. What is the running duo strategy for the day of the marathon? We have a time in mind, but really just to cross that finish line, you know. Together? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we've always finished everything together. Charlie likes to pull ahead at the very end to go finish before me, but. <laughs> Thanks for the support. All right. Donations coming in. I appreciate it.